because you have air in the airplane. It's not getting new air in. It is. It is? Yes. They have like a little <laughs> hole? Yeah, they have a pump. Really? Yeah. So it gets it from the outside? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. And it's like, it's the air is, air, airplanes have it, have it easy because they, essentially you can, they're pretty leaky. Uh, but Jesus. You, yeah, but you, <laughs> so long as the, as long as the air pump is <laughs> working at a decent speed, they have backup pumps. Oh. So they have like, you know, three pumps or four pumps or something. And uh, and then that, then there's like there's an ex- it exhausts through the out- outflow valve, and and through whatever seals are not sealing quite right. Usually the door doesn't seal quite right on a plane, so there's a bit of leakage around the door, and uh, and but it, the the pumps uh, exceed the outflow rate, and then that sets the pressure in the in the cabin. Now, have you ever looked at planes and gone, I could fix this? I just don't have the yeah. time. Too busy I making have a design for a plane. You do? Yes. A better design? I mean, probably. I think it is. Yes. Well, who have you talked to about this? And I've talked to friends. Friends? And friends and... I'm your friend. Girlfriends and... You can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing, supersonic jet of some kind. Vertical takeoff and landing meaning no need for a runway. Just shoot up straight yes. in the air and then Ooh. How would you do that? I mean, they do that on some military aircrafts, correct? Yes. The trick is that you have, a, you have to transition to level flight um, and then you the, the, the thing that you'd use for vertical takeoff and landing is not suitable for high-speed flight. So you have two different systems. Vertical I've thought takeoff about this and quite a system. lot. I've thought about this okay. quite a lot. Um, the, uh, the interesting thing about an electric plane is that you want to go as high as possible. But you need a certain energy density in the battery pack um, because you have to up, up, overcome gravitational potential energy. Once you've overcome gravitational potential energy and you're at, 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 at a high altitude, the energy you use in cruise is very low. And then you can recapture a large part of your the gravitational potential energy on the way down. Um, so you really don't need any kind of reserve fuel, if you will, because you have the, the the energy of height, gravitational potential energy. This is a lot of energy. So so once you can get high, high you the the like the way to think about a plane is it's a force balance. So the force balance. So a plane that that is not accelerating um, is is a neutral force balance. You have the force of gravity, you have the lift force of the wings, then you've got the force of the whatever thrusting device, so the the propeller or turbine or whatever it is, um, and you've got the resistance force of the air. Now the higher you go, the lower the air resistance is. Air density drops exponentially. But drag increases with the square. An exponential beats a square. The higher you go, the faster you will go for the same amount of energy. And at a certain altitude, you, will, you can go supersonic with less energy per mile, quite a lot less energy per mile, than an aircraft at 35,000 feet because it's just a force balance. I'm too stupid for this conversation. It makes sense, though. No, I'm sure it does. Now, when you think about this new idea of, of, of designing, I mean, when, when you have this idea about improving planes, mm-hmm. are you going to bring this to somebody? Or you just chuck well, this Well, I have around? a lot on my plate. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how you do what you do now, but if you keep coming up with these... But it's got to be hard to pawn these off on someone else either. Hey, hey go do a job, a good job with this vertical takeoff and landing system that I want to implement to regular planes. The airplane, electric airplane isn't necessary right now. Electric cars are important. We need Solar energy of... is important. Stationary storage of energy is important. These things are much more important than creating electric supersonic VTOL. Also... Uh, the planes naturally, you really want that gravitational energy density for an aircraft, um, and this is improving over time. So, you know, it's, it's important that we accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. That's why electric cars 
it matters whether electric cars happen sooner or later. You know, we're, we're really playing a crazy game here with the atmosphere and the yeah. oceans. We're taking vast amounts of carbon from deep underground and putting this putting this in the, in the, in the atmosphere. This is crazy. We should not do this. It's very dangerous.